Hey, it's Joe from JoeCalantonio.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to run a .NET c -sharp test in Sauce Labs. Check it out. So first, let's start up Visual Studio. And let's create a new project. And for this project, I'm going to select Visual c -sharp, And I'm going to make it a class library. I'm just going to call this Example Source. All right, cool. So the first thing we want to do is we want to set up c -sharp with all the different libraries that we need to use Selenium with Sauce Labs. So the first thing you want to do, easiest way actually to do it is to go into Tools and then select Library Package Manager and then select Manage NuGet Packages for Solution. So now I'm just going to go under the All, under Online, and for Search Online, I'm just going to type in Selenium. So the first one you want to install is the Selenium Web Driver. Click OK. OK, you know it's successful because it has a check mark. The next package we want to install is the Selenium Web Driver Supported Classes. So click on Install again. Awesome, so we have Selenium set up. So now what we need is we need to have a, a test runner that we're going to use to run our tests against Sauce Labs. So Sauce recommends Galileo. So if you type in Galileo, so the Galileo option you want to install is the Galileo and MB unit option. So click Install. And you want to also install the Galileo bundle option. Awesome. So now we have all the libraries we need to get started. I'm going to close this. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to import the Galileo and Selenium libraries that we just installed. So the first one's going to be Galileo Framework. Then the next one's going to be Galileo Model. And now we're just going to import the Selenium libraries we want to use. Now what I want to do is we want to declare what environments we want to run our test against. So if you navigate to Sauce Labs underneath that platform section, you'll see all the different combinations you can use that you can run your test against. So I'm going to run against Windows. So I'm just going to select Windows. And I'm going to choose just some random browsers that I want to use to run against. So in order to do that, you need to declare a test fixture. So notice you also have to install mbunit.framework to use the test fixture. OK, so what I want to do is I want to run against two different environments. You can list as many as you like. Um, they're both going to use Chrome. They're just going to be different versions, and they're going to be on different platforms. So the first one's going to be on Windows. The other one's going to be on Linux. And on Linux, it's going to be Chrome 35. And on Windows, I want to run against Chrome 43. So now under our class, I'm just going to add a method called simple test. And so basically, you're going to set up the desired capabilities, which is basically the environment and browser you want to run against. And it's basically just going to point to the variables that we defined under our test fixture. So we have a, a browser, a version, and a platform. You also are going to want to pass it your username and access key. So if you go and sign in to Sauce Labs, on the bottom left, you should see something called access key. You're going to want to copy this access key, because that's the value you're going to paste into your code underneath the access key. And you would use the username you use to log into Sauce Labs. So once you have your capabilities set, we're just going to invoke a new driver. It's going to be a remote web driver. We're just going to set a wait of 30 seconds. And we're going to navigate to my Selenium test page. And then all I'm going to do is an assert to verify that the page that we navigate to has the correct title. And then I'm going to close the driver. So I'll have a link to my blog post while I have the actual code that you can use for your test under the description of this video. So in order to use the variables that we defined under our test fixture, we just need to pass as parameters into the simple test method. So I'm just going to do a string browser, string version, and string platform. So what's going to happen is the test is going to run. It's going to read in these rows. And for each row, it's going to plug in the values for each one. So it's going to find the browser. It's going to see it's Chrome version 43, platform Windows 37. And it's just going to pass it within the set capabilities. And then when that's done, it's going to go to the next row and just pass it that row's values. All right, cool. So now let's run the test. Now to run the test, we need to point to our framework test runner, which is Galileo. So underneath your Solution Explorer, go to your project and right click on it and then select Properties. Under Properties, go to Debug. And under Debug, under the Start Action, select Start External Program. And what you want to do is you want to navigate to the Galileo package that we 
previously installed. So I know I installed mine in a folder called Sauce Labs Project. So I'm going to go to that folder. And the name of the project is Example Sauce. I'm going to go into Packages. For the packages we installed, the one being Galileo Bundle. So I'm going to click on Galileo Bundle. Under Bundle, double click on Bin. And under Bin, there's a file called Galileo Icarus.exe. This is the file we want to point to. So I'm going to click on this and click Open. All right, next, for the command line, you want to pass it the name of your project. So the name of our project is example sauce. So the name of our argument we're going to pass is example sauce.dll. All right, cool. So now I want to run it. So I'm just going to click on start. All right, it's going to start up Galileo. And so when the Galileo runner opens, it'll show you all the tests that you have for that class. So you just want to click on start within Galileo. Awesome. So notice it failed. I just wanted to do this just so you can see what a failure looks like. And so you can try to debug what it is if you have failures. So if you scroll down, you'll notice there's an execution log file and it's saying the device is unspecified. Usually a device unspecified means that, just like it says, whatever you passed it, it's unsupported. So if you go back to the code that we have, notice I have Chrome version 43 listed. But if you go under platforms, Notice there is no Chrome 43. So I'm just going to change it to 42 and I'm going to run it again. Awesome. This time it passed. You can see it shows two pass, two runs, two pass, zero failed. Now, if you navigate back into Sauce Labs, we have a method called Simple Tests and notice that it passed against Windows and Linux. So if you click on each one of these, what's cool, it gives you the commands that we use to run, how long each step took. Um, you could see a, a video playback. What's really cool about Sauce Labs, it automatically takes a video of all your tests so you can watch playbacks to see what happened. You have a log file to help you debug and your metadata. So that's how easy it is to get started using Sauce Labs with C Sharp. Hope it helps.